Well, today's gonna be another unboxing day. One was much of a more of a need to make my filming uh, life easier, and the other one, well, was for the addiction that I have. So let's unbox the boring one. When I say boring, it's because I don't like buying things that I need, such as like SD cards, memory, uh, or SSDs. I find those boring because I know, I know it's needed. I know it would make my life easier, but it's not an exciting purchase. That's how this is kind of too. And that is Polar Pro's Rapid Mounting uh, Mount. I bought two of them. Now, I bought this actually a while ago when they first released it. I bought one because I did think that it would be like super useful, for, especially for my monitor, which is where I have this mount primarily used for. However, because of the system or rapid mount system, I really didn't want to have to unscrew and screw the mounting port of the monitor because I do switch it from either this point of view, my overhead view, um, or if I'm traveling, if I needed to be on something else, I always had to take off the uh, the mounting point, which is this little like circle screw. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see, there we go. So this top part would attach essentially to the monitor or microphone or any other accessory. And then you'd have like the bottom, which is uh, connects to via cold shoe. And you can just easily unscrew and screw and put it on. However, that little like mounting port, I always end up having to unscrew to attach it to this setup and because currently I have this rapid mount attached to my overhead rig, which I'll go ahead and show you guys here. But to make my life easier, just to literally just unscrew whoop, and plop the monitor onto something else such as this, is just going to be a lot easier. So I'm super excited. Initially, I did need three because I do want one for here and then I wanted another one for my microphone. That way I have it set up here as this is probably one of the best microphones that I have. Um, so if I do want to change out the camera and I want to shoot somewhere else around the studio, I have to, it's kind of a pain in the butt to unscrew this from the uh, arm thing that it's on and then attach it. So again, this would have made my life easier. However, I only bought two because they're kind of expensive. They're about 40 bucks. And if you add more than just one at a time, it does add up. So again, this was more of a compromise because I only bought two and I really wanted to buy this next thing that I ended up buying, which I'm, I'm like so excited. It's so excited that it arrived two days earlier. So I wasn't like prepared physically like dressed or anything like that uh, to get it. It was a Sunday evening, it was like rainy, and all of a sudden I, I see the notification that uh, something had, was delivered. And I knew it wasn't this because this was going to arrive yesterday. So anyways, I go outside and lo and behold, this arrived a new backpack. Ah, if you've been around the channel or if you know me personally, you know that I have this obsession over backpacks and organizing them. Getting a new backpack means that I can reorganize and I get like super excited, I love it. And actually I have two people to blame for this purchase. One of which is Maddie Hapoya, and the other is uh, one, re one channel that I recently came across, uh, which I believe his name is, or the channel is called blue, 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 Optical Wander. I actually don't know his real name, so I do apologize. I literally just came across this channel as I was like just looking through through YouTube. Anyways, Matty Hapoya's video was like, I believe it was last year where he did like a best camera backpack uh, review where he did the Peter McKinnon, he did some peak design reviews and ultimately he landed for him, which you've seen in previous videos, was the douchebags, the backpack pro in black. So, you know, I thought, okay, that, I mean, that seems like a pretty cool backpack. Um, I get it, it's lightweight, but it didn't like, it just, I was like, okay, cool, that's a cool backpack. But we left it at that. And so months passed by. I didn't even think about this company. I didn't even think about this backpack until the Optical Wonder channel in the specific video to blame was how to shoot POV videos, London photography, which I'll link the, I'll leave the link down to that specific video and Maddie Hapoya's video down below um, in case you want to check it out. And as I was watching this uh, how to shoot POV videos, 
you know, he's talking about where he, how he uses um, his GoPro. Like, I think he does like a chest mount and he just goes around and, and shoots. Anyways, as he's recording himself talking, I, I notice uh, something familiar, uh, the backpack. I was like, wait, that's the same brand that uh, Maddie Hapoya uses, which is the douchebag backpack, which by the way, the name is like, super out there but you know oh well but he had it in this specific color the khaki and that's when it was just like love at first sight like like literally since then i had watched all the unboxing videos review videos of the douchebags uh the backpack pro videos um at, like literally when i tell you and it's it's an obsession believe me when i say that i dreamt about it and it got really bad. Like I would, I was literally losing sleep because of how much I wanted this backpack. Now, hear me out. Why, why did I get this backpack? Um, one of the things that really interested me again, watching like a bunch of videos and going back to the website, reading over through the specs and stuff was just how lightweight it is. It's not, it's not like a huge, I mean, it's made out of great material. I, I love it. This also looks a lot better in person than it does uh, in pictures, especially on their on their actual website. Again, watch the Optical Wonders video. It looks so good. I loved the color, fell in love with the color. Anyways, so going back, the material is is, is awesome. It feels like, a, like water repellent kind of thing, easy to wipe. However, my only thing is, the this whole front panel is feels more like a fabricy. I still think it's um, fine with against water, but like dirt and mud, I have a feeling this is going to be kind of hard to clean off. However, the going back, I'm, I'm like all over the place because I'm just super excited that I finally have this in my hands. Oh. Um, why did I buy this, right? Okay, so I bought this specifically for fun traveling. So I did buy the CIA, which is the camera insert that comes with, um, or actually doesn't come with, but that they sell. Now, the, uh, going back to why I never really thought about this backpack before was, while well, it's over 200 bucks alone with no camera insert, and if you are a camera person or need to carry around fragile things, you need the camera insert. And there's a small and a big one. The small one alone is 80 bucks, so again, that just adds to the price and it just didn't pique my interest at that price point. I was like, well, I don't know. I don't really need an everyday backpack. I'm, I kind of got that covered. But as far as for traveling, especially when I went to Europe, I tested out the, um, the Peak Design version two 30 liter back, everyday backpack and I hated it. It just wasn't for me. I returned it as soon as I got back. Um, so based on my experience of traveling, literally walking five miles easily a day with my backpack, wanting to take pictures and video shop, I knew what I was looking for. And I think obviously, cause I haven't gone on vacation that this backpack will kind of check off all those, all those marks, which goes again back to the color and me like possibly dirtying this up since I am wanting to use this as for like fun travel, going on vacation. I think it should be okay. I didn't dirty up my Peak Design. It was a color black, so it was a little bit easier to disguise any like dust or scuffs. But I, I was very careful. I hardly ever took off my backpack. So again, but there, there are some concerns with this backpack in particular as far as travel. Let me go ahead and show you first the, um, kind of how I have it here. Let me close this so you guys can see that better. Um, so I kind of already um, molded like the, um, what is this called? The camera insert to fit my Sony a7 III uh, with either the 16, the 35 lens or the 24 to 105. It pretty much fits here. I just had to move this divider up and take out, I think it was just two dividers. So I do have two extra dividers. I can fit my video micro here, a peak design strap, a side handle, and then pretty much I can have these two as extras. When I go, when I, when I think about like travel, fun travel, I do want to keep my video stuff super minimal, as minimal as I can get. Because again, I rem I'm remembering walking around and plus like the shopping, which is why I went with the small camera insert. Not only because to keep myself from overpacking gear, but also to have some room for when I go shopping. You know what I mean? And the best part is that this is removable. So if in my suitcase, I leave enough room on the way back, 
Um, I can take this out if for some reason I want to pack more of like my shopping stuff. Uh, I can put this in the luggage compartment or whatever. And then I essentially have this whole entire space open. Um, there's a lot of reviews out about the, the Backpack Pro, so it's not like in-depth review about this backpack, but merely on why I bought it. Uh, I, again, I do have some concerns. The main one, the main concern that I have is that this opens uh, via the front. So again, when I'm thinking about like traveling, walking around, and especially I think it was in London where there was just a bunch of people, this kind of worries me. Like, I think I would be able to feel it if someone is trying to like unzip it. But even so, because it's in the front, that's a little bit nerve wracking. So I'm not sure how that's gonna work. Um, especially, well, you know, I don't know. I just don't know how, how it will be. And I think the only way to do that is actually gonna be going on a trip, which I have no idea when that will be. But that's one of the concerns. Again, the concern that I already mentioned was getting it dirty. Uh, I love this color, but this color is only going to look nice if it stays clean. So I think those are the two main, actually, the two only main uh, concerns that I have as of right now, based on the research that I've done, the, my dreaming and thoughts, uh, that's all I could come up with. I love the size, I, again, the lightweight is, is awesome. I do wish that the laptop compartment, which for traveling, I would only bring my iPad, but either way, I kind of wish it was lined with something softer instead of like this, uh, I don't know what to call this material. But you guys can hear that, right? I wish it was just lined with something a little bit softer like this top compartment is. Uh, this one here, which I'm really looking forward to, especially if I use this as like my, not my carry-on, but as my personal item to fit underneath the airplane seat. This top uh, pocket is lined with this, with this. And I kind of wish the laptop compartment was also lined with this like soft fabric. It's put my phone, AirPods, like headphones, uh, charging cable, super easy access and it, you know, given that you're sliding this underneath the seat right in front of you, this is super easy access to grab stuff that you need. So I really like that. Again, that was one of the uh, like pros on getting this backpack specifically for travel. You know, I heard good things about the water bottle pocket. So that's always important. I, you know, got to stay hydrated. These, it just felt really good. As far as comfort, I kind of like walked around the studio adjusting it to, to my uh, specific needs. I already have the Peak Design quick release plate on here as well. So that's, you know, it's ready to go, man. I am ready to go somewhere. But, um, I mean, should I have bought it? No, 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 I shouldn't have. Again, uh, this thing was with tax $288. That's a lot, especially when you don't need it. <sighs> so that's it. That's the video. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like this video if you liked it. Uh, comment down below what you guys think so far about this specific backpack or what backpacks you have used for travel, you know, in particular. Um, I don't know, I guess what else do I need to say? Oh yeah, subscribe if you haven't already because that helps a whole bunch. It really, really does. I really do appreciate everyone so far. Um, but that's it. I'm going to now dream about vacation and testing this out in real life. So stay tuned for uh, an actual review of this and let's see if my concerns are actually valid or if other arise. But that's the video. Addiction to backpacks because I went against like not buying things that I didn't need this year. This year I was supposed to buckle down and like pay off stuff, but instead I bought a backpack. So, so good job, Michelle. You know, January isn't even over and you already went back on your plan for the year. So off to a great start. Whoa, that was loud. I do apologize, but that's it for me today. See you guys next time.